Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the React.js tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to restrict the user to limit the number of characters into a text area. And here we got the final output, the header section. Below that we got the text area and the column node is label color is blue color. Now let's enter some text. My name is Charan. And notice here the character limit size I have given to this text area is 20 only. So if I type more than 20 characters, it's not accepting. And the character length, once it reaches 5, the condition I given, if the character length is less than 5, the label will display in the red color. If the character length is above 5, it display in blue color. See? My name is Sharon. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to restrict the user to limit the character size in React.js class content. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am using Visual Studio Code to create a React.js application. Just for the time saving, I have already created a project called chtml insert in this folder, above folder. Let me expand this project and notice in my application, the project, there is a source folder. Let me allow to expand this source folder also. In this source folder, all my components I am adding in this source folder only. And this time also, I am adding one new, new component in this source folder. For that, right click the source folder, new file and the file name is a restrict text.js file and here we got our restrict text.js file. In React.js there are two types of components, one is functional component and the second one is a class component. Here in this example I am creating a class component but before that we must import the react class from the react library let's add that step first import react from react library after that i'm defining a class called restrict text which is my file name and extends extends react dot component so every class component at the end line, the bottom line contains export default, export default, my file name, which is the component name, the stick text. Now in the class component between curly brackets, there are two important methods in a class component. One is a render method we have to add. And inside this render method, there is a return method. And this return method, which displays the output on the browser, and this return method contains the all HTML elements. First, I'm adding one div element. Whenever we want to add more than one HTML element in a React.js component, we must add between the root or root element, which is a div element. Here I am adding more than one element, so I have added one div container, first one header section, how to restrict the user to limit the characters, character size. And after that I am adding the h2 tag, react.js tutorials then I'm adding one simple horizontal line let me put this everything in the center tag so it will display in the center of the browser 
Now after the horizontal line, I'm adding the text area, text area, a simple text area. Inside this text area, there is a property called rows. I'm adding rows is equals to. Uh, let's add some ten rows and the and the maximum length to allow is twenty. You can increase the maximum length also as well as the rows also. You can increase. But here in this example, I have added rows is equal to ten and maximum length is twenty. The user can enter the text in this text area. After that, I'm adding one more horizontal line. Now below the horizontal line, I'm adding one H1 tag. Here I want to display the uh, count the number of characters the user is entered. Now before implementing the uh, the limit size, the character user the limit size to allow. First, let's check the output how it looks this component on the browser. First, let's save this file, save all. Now, let's copy our component name. We need to configure our component in the index.js file. Where is the index.js file? Here is the index.js file. And notice in the index.js file, the render method contains the app component, which is a default component of our application. Let's delete this default app and I'm adding my component name, which is a restrict text, as well as we have to import in the header section also. Let's save this file, save all. Now, let's check the output, go to terminal. And notice the path is d colon the folder name. Inside this folder, I have my project which is chmol insert. So let's add my project to this path chmol insert enter. Once we got the perfect path, now I can able to run my component on the browser. So for that, we have to add the command called npm start enter. And here we got the output of our application. And notice the header section. We got two headers, horizontal line and the text area. Below that, we got the count label. Now, my aim is when a user enter any text here, here the maximum length we have entered only 20. So, if the user enter some characters, I want to count here. So, for that, I can switch over to our component. Um, now I'm adding above the render method inside the class. I'm creating one constructor to create a state. So whenever we have defined a constructor, immediately we need to add the super method. Now inside the super method, we can able to add the state is equals to in the state. First, I'm adding the max uh, length is equals to max length colon 20 and uh, max on 20 so max on 20 we don't get variable there and also uh, character uh, left character count character count is equals to 20 comma so here I have added two properties maximum length and character count. This character count I want to display here. This dot state dot character count. Let's save this file. We check the output. Oops, here it's not equal to here. We need to add a column. Again, save this file. Compile successfully, we check the output. So now we got the count is equal to 20. Now after adding the state, now we require the handler, count handler 
which is the event I'm creating the arrow function here now here I require one variable three variables first one to count the length of the uh, character so length count is equals to e dot target dot value dot length and also they require this maximum length the state value variable max underscore len is equals to this dot state dot max len I'm adding this state property here now the last variable I want to subtract from the max len to length count so I'm adding the result is equals to max length minus length count I'm minusing max length max length minus length count and the result is our uh, the output which will count the character count character count uh, now to update any state value in class component there is a set state hook method is there so this dot set state hook method inside this set state hook um, we need to add the car count this count column result the result value I am putting in this car count this is the output I count now I'm adding one condition here if the result is less than or equals to 5 if the uh, the character limit size is reached up to 5 I want to display the count label color is in red color so uh, here I'm adding the document dot get element by ID. The ID of the H1 element header, header ID is equal to I'm adding ABC. ABC dot the style dot color is equal to red. And the same thing. In the else part if the character count is more than five I want to display in the blue color so instead of red I'm adding blue and here we need to add the style also uh, style I'm adding inner style between curly brackets color is blue that's it now the most important step we need to add this count handler event in the text area the event name is on change event is equals to this dot I'm adding my count handler the method name to this on change event that's it uh, we have done the complete coding part let's save this file save all compile successfully we'll check the final output I'm reloading the browser and here we got the final output the header section below that we got the text area and the column node is label color is blue color now let's enter some text my name is Sharon and notice here the character limit size I have given to this text area is 20 only so if I type more than 20 characters it's not accepting and the character length once it reaches 5 the condition I given if the character length is less than 5 the label will display in the red color if 
the character length is above 5 a display in blue color see my name is Sharon that's it in this video tutorial I have explained how to restrict the user to limit the character size in ReactJS class content. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial.